Hey guys, so we went to our fa one of our favorite nurseries yesterday and they didn't have any citrus tree, but they told us it was going to be coming in to this morning. And I call them first thing in the morning and I said, yeah, they had it. And I was like, listen, please put it up for me. The guy didn't want to because he's like, people usually prefer to pick out their own trees, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, no. So my body up and make him put it down. So we are going to collect it right now. Baby girl right here, so of course, because backseat can come me and her. Came her in the driver's seat, per usual. I won't let him say hi because he won't say hi. You know, he don't like talking. Um, so that's where we're going right now to collect my orange tree. I've been wanting orange trees for the last two and a half years and just couldn't find it. So it's a drive to go where we are, but we're going to go get our orange tree. Orange and lime. Get it? Baby girl is here. Camera is right there. So they had picked out some and they left it at the front desk, they said. So that's what we're going to see if... We like them ones and if we don't we can just head back over there and choose the ones that we want but at least um we know we have some reserve because i would hate if i came and it just gone and these are the yes it is yeah yes that's them so this is the nursery we're at the only thing i don't like is that they have just this tiny section for fruit trees look at it little bitty just right there so This is all their citrus, so they have two different types of orange, um, lemon, and lime. So these look like they're all Myers lemon. It says here Myers lemon. Um, pink lemon. Mandarin and orange. Okay, the orange trees them small and the mandarin. Okay. On the right. Aya. So of the three they picked up, we just sw swapping out the lime. Got a bigger one. So we're gonna go back now and check out. This one is for thirty nine. I think the orange tree is 59. So while we're here, Debbie's asked us to pick up some pounds for her. So that's what we are gonna do. Like a kid in a candy store. Oh, this isn't too bad. The area that I want to plant the art the citrus trees and blueberry because blueberry need a little bit more sun and this area is a little bit more sunny than over here. So we're just gonna go ahead and remove what's there right now and Tomorrow, hopefully, we can start removing the stones and then we'll add some dirt and then start planting. Trying to get this food fire started is no joke. Some monitor. Wait, can you see her? Guess not. Monitor and shovel in hand. And we're trying to make the best of the time that we have, you know. Because when she's awake, there's very little that we can do. So we took all the dead plants out. We're going to put that back in. Um, just to add some extra nutrients to the soil instead of putting it into the compost. So there are two areas like this. So there's that and there is this. So these two corners are reserved for the citrus trees. I really wish I could have um, I'd gotten some banana trees but I can't seem to get any. So we're going to just do, take those out tonight and start shoveling or do, do as much as we can um, because we really need to get this thing going. Hope we can see her. Kinda, sorta. All right, so this is what we're doing right now, later. After my friend and I, Tracy, that was here staying with me from Canada, did the original two garden beds, I decided that I was not going to be digging anything else. So no dig was always the route to take, which is why you see all these um, stones right here. So we had put down some weed blocker and then we put down dirt and then we put our pots and we put the stones around it just to give it a look but let me tell you this was a pain in the royal butt when we decided 
to ch flip the script and change the plan. This was not fun. This was not fun at all. So my wonderful hobby took the charge on this particular project because let me tell you hats off to him because had it not been for him I would have still been out there moving dirt, shoveling stone and it would have been a hot mess. So shout out to you Kemal. I know it looks like it's a lot of space but it really isn't. So we have to be very strategic with how we lay these beds and the green house which you guys will see in another video because we still want to leave space where we can add a deck coming off the house and space for baby girl to run up and down and possibly a sibling who knows Kemar where is it just trying to lay the empty pots out to see how I'll configure the citrus trees that I'll be placing here and thankfully it's in containers so I'll be able to move them around as I see fit. So this is where we'll end day two. I think I'm going to plant some colored greens in these because remember that was the original plan to plant some more veggies in the actual soil over here. I just decided to do some um, little plants that attract pollinators but for the two um, circular areas that's what I'm going to do so maybe some collard greens and lettuce on this side and I'm not sure what I'm going to be putting over this side this has a citrus area this is the citrus area so this is nectarine lime orange those are those little squiggly things are pomegranate um, so that's just a temporary holding place we didn't add the soil yet to raise this side up because we're extremely tired and then we have to go prepare dinner and get ourselves ready for Denise to drop baby girl off so this is what the yard is looking like hot mess dot com those are fruit trees that died i bought them less than a year ago so i have warranty on them um so i'm going to take them back to those and get back my money or replace them with other fruit trees we'll see it is april 21st and i just wanted to show you guys what it looks like that is a blueberry tree it's not dead i promise you so those are the two little my meager myers lemon that i had so that's one of the orange tree that is of course a blueberry and let me show you the other side now in the back i did also plant some more of those wildflower things that attract i just saw a ladybug um bees and butterfly and it says hummingbird as well so we will see so this is one area and this is the other side in the so this is my citrus area so that's lime orange nectarine and again i planted some of those little flowers in the back and look because i didn't pull up the root i don't know if you can see it for that ornamental banana um, banana plant that's coming back up and i don't remember if you um i made mention of the two little pomegranate trees that's what they're looking like right now which is pretty cool yeah so that's it this is where i'm going to end this vlog guys so remember walk good and remember to take care of yourselves and each other later